Hey everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we will talk about Go High Level Attribution Tracking. So I have the Go High Level official document on attribution tracking open here, and we will go through this and try to understand what it does. Although it says ad reporting, it doesn't really apply to ad reporting only, it does apply to other traffic sources as well. So basically what it is, attribution provides a breakdown of which channels or sources a contact came from. So if you are doing marketing in different channels, like if you're running Google ads, Facebook ads, email marketing, referral marketing, organically, you're doing SEO, as well you need to be able to identify these different sources so with this information you will be able to identify growth opportunities and determine which channels offer the most potential so how do we see this data how do we see where the contact came from so we need to be able to identify that although it says a lot of things we don't have to go through all these to understand how, how it works i will just go to my high level account and we will go to my contact section and click on any of these contacts so if you click on a contact it takes you to the detail section you can see the contact details you can see the activity you can see the conversation communication and all that stuff now if you come over to the bottom right you can see there are two things first attribution source and latest attribution source if you click on any of these these are actually clickable this will actually show you where this contact came from so you can see it says direct traffic so this link was shared with this contact and this contact visited this link and then this contact submitted a form that's why it's tracking the user agent which is the browser it's tracking the landing page ip address the client id medium what was the medium like what type of submission did this person that this contact did was it a form submit or the or calendar submit or survey submit so it tells you all that stuff now what is the difference between first attribution and latest attribution so let me show you what it is so first attribution is the first time a contact interacts with our system so for example a person saw your google ad and clicked on it and then submitted their detail in that landing page so that's the first attribution and latest attribution now if the person visits your website later not from google ads like one week later this person again visits your website and then puts another inquiry in that will be the latest attribution now the latest attribution will be updated from google ads to the direct link because the first attribution will still stay google ads but the latest attribution since the person again interacted will be changed based on the last recorded interaction so if the person one week later books another call that will be the latest attribution so first attribution stays as it is and the latest attribution changes so if we look at this particular contact latest attribution changed to referral because this contact interacted later so you can see this person came through another landing page and then submitted the detail and all that stuff now this is why we track two different things first attribution and latest attribution now there's a few things you need to know first of all what are the different types of sources like what is go high level able to track so first of all go high level is able to track paid search so paid search is if you're running google ads and any lead visits from google ads to your landing page and then they submit their detail that will be attributed as paid search so instead of saying direct traffic here it will say paid search and then it will have a bunch of information about your google ad campaign that it came from hey everyone just wanted to take a quick moment to share my school community where if you join you get to ask me questions about issues you're facing on go high level ads automation ai you can also be a part of the weekly coaching sessions where i conduct training on many different topics and we do a q a session after that besides you get free access to a lot of my courses that I'm not uploading on YouTube anymore. Some of them you can already see on the screen. Also, there are members only discounts. If you join, you get 50% off on my courses, my snapshots, my funnels, everything. That's pretty much what I want to share. See you on the other side. Secondly, it has paid social. So this is Facebook ads or meta ads. If you're running Facebook ads and someone came through your ad, became a lead in your system, they will be attributed as paid social over here. So attribution tracking will be updated to paid social. Direct traffic. So if the link was shared directly, it's connected actually go through this organized under direct traffic does not have any indication of its source so if go high level is not able to track the actual source it says direct traffic mostly a link click is attributed as direct traffic so we have organic search it's basically seo if you're doing seo and someone organically came from google bing or any other search engines out there organic search social media this is organic facebook so paid social is different than social media so this is basically if you're doing organic social media marketing just uploading posts on your different social media channels basically someone clicks on one of your posts goes to your website or landing page and then they become a lead that will be attributed as social media referrals if your website's link is mentioned in another website in most cases they click on that and then go to your website and then submit their detail that will be attributed as referrals anything else crm 
is not able to track the actual source will be attributed as others crm ui if you manually create a contact in high level that will be attributed as crm ui third party is mostly applications like zapier make n8n or anything out there like that is an api based integration system so if you create a contact through zapier if you create a contact through make or pably or anything out there this will be attributed as third party attribution now let's talk about what events record attribution and this is very important for you to understand let's say you are using a go high level landing page and then you have a go high level form or a survey or a calendar in it if you're doing that you don't have to worry about it the attributions will be properly recorded so it says within the same session a contact must do one or more following actions so a form or a survey submit calendar booking submission chat widget order form submission so these actually record attribution now what if you are using a go high level landing page but using a form created in jot form or type form that way even though you're bringing the lead from zapier from type form to go high level the attribution will say third party because the lead in go high level is actually being created using zapier which is a third party system now what if you have a wordpress website and you're using form or survey created in go high level because these are native to go high level attribution will still be tracked even though the platform is different if you're using a wordpress or a squarespace or a wix website and you're using go high level form survey using go high level calendars using go high level chat widget can't use order form on any third party applications but if you're using any of these your attribution will still work so that's very important for you to know now here is an example of a lead that came from google ads this is the attribution details of that contact it shows you the url this person clicked on before visiting your website or landing page and becoming a lead it shows you the utm source which is the source that it came from which is google ads in this case utm term is the keyword so if you're doing google ads you will be able to see the keyword that this person searched for before visiting your website and becoming a lead which is really really useful information because that tells you what you should be focusing on more than anything so you just need to filter out the people who became a member or a client in your company or your business and then see what they actually searched for these will be your most valuable keywords it gives you other information like refer gclade uh, you know google click id user agent ip address and all that stuff which is quite useful by default go high level is able to track whether a lead came from google or facebook or organic or any other stuff but if you want detailed information like this you need to see my video on google ads attribution tracking and same thing if you want to do it for facebook ads you need to see my video on facebook ads attribution tracking i will link those videos in this video's description so you can go ahead and check it out you need to set up attribution tracking on the ads level in order to get this kind of information and more information even if you want that go ahead and watch those and implement attribution tracking on the ads level so go high level can fetch this type of information if you don't do it it's not the end of the world because you will still be able to track what different sources these leads come from like whether it came from Google ads, whether it came from Facebook ads. But if you want to track this detailed data on this level, you need to set up attribution tracking on the ads level. So go ahead and check it out. And that's pretty much what I wanted to share in this video. Hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this and I'll see you in the next one.